So from Tony McCoy to Bob Champion, a two mile 500 chase here. Jazzy Doll stall for James Shea, Sufalini Mullin for Paul Rhodes, Heracleon for Stu Gray, Mandolin Natter for James Shea, Max Ralex Cherry, and Inuit Symbol for Ben Benita. Just going to make up six over this extended two and a half miles. Our last Hunter Chase, race 24 on your cards, or race 25 on your cards. There's just one more to go today, which is the Triumph Hurdle, which I'll hand you back over to Martin for that after this race. As they settle down here, it's Mandolin Natter that's taken it up. Ben Benici's Inuit symbol. Balls Sufalini Mullin on the inside, and the green silks and the yellow sleeves. We've got Max and Heracleon. It's Cherry and Stu Gray. And just at the rear is the top weight Jazzy Doll stall. Also for James Shea. You know, our last one, the Tony McCoy, looking to pick up the Bob Champion. So race left handed. He's got a five length advantage from Inuit Symbol, is in second. And a couple away from Max and Sufalini Mullin. Heracleon and Jazzy Doll stall. He gets to the fourth. He was over it a little bit slow. Inuit Symbol jumped it better. This is Mandolin Natter. We knew it's simple. Sufalini Molina Max. Jazzy Doll Storm and Heracleon. Make up the six. We will still stand. Somebody's going to lose out for a little bit of prize money. It's James Shays and Mandolin Natter that leads us. By about four to we knew it's simple in second. Apple back to Sufalini Molina Max running together. And further two back to Jazzy Doll Storm and Heracleon. Finding out from that Talon Charlie position as they go over the six. So a third of the fence is taken. It's Mandolin Natter that still leads. About three to Inuit Symbol. Further three back to Max and Sufalini Mullin. And surprisingly enough, another couple. Back to Jazzy Doll Storm and Heracleon as they get to the seventh. The plain one. He jumped that well. Heracleon took it well towards the rear. So racing left handed. It's Mandolin Natter. And approach the next, the eighth. It's by a couple to Inuit Symbol, just bring in a few reminders. It's the one he went straight through the top of that, the lead up, lost all his advantage. Inuit Symbol draws alongside. Max has moved into third now, Sufling so Mullin's fourth. Rackling and Jazzy Doll still, still flying out of the back. James Shea's Mandolin Natter leads us over the ninth. Half the fence is taken now. Mandolin Natter from Inuit Symbol. Three or four back to Max and Sufalini Mullin. And Rackleon's pulled away now from Jazzy Doll's stall. So they're in single file. So have another circuit to go as I go over the tenth. We'll take it well. We're a little bit slow. Inuit Symbol jumps alongside Mandolin Natter now. These two share the lead. From Max has moved up just a length and a half away into third. Sufalini Mullin's following them through in fourth. We've got about three or four lengths advantage back. Gap to Heracleon, who just took a dive on that one. Lucky to still be on his feet. But as we come down to the final mile, it's Mandolin Natter. Leads from Inuit Symbol. Max and Sufalini Mullin. These four are, are a good four or five lengths away from Heracleon and Jazzy Dolstall towards the rear. Race left handed again. Approach the next, it's Mandolin Natter from Inuit Symbol. There's been your one, two throughout. Max and Sufalini Mullin have pretty much been in third and fourth. Up to the 13th, the leaders are over it. Slow jump there by Max. And plenty of uh, space. And it's Mandolin Natter from Inuit Symbol. Sufalini Mullin in third now. And Max in fourth. Still got six furlongs to travel. We go over the 14th, that's five from home. So Mandolin Natter by a length and a half from Inuit Symbol. Sufalini Mullin, Max. If you back to Heraklion and Jazzy Doll Stall, they're not going to probably win from there. This is Mandolin Natter, led from the beginning. Still there, being pushed in long by his jockey now as they approach the ditch. Takes it well. This is the chasing pack of Inuit Symbol and Max. Sufalini Mullin starting to make up some ground now. So it's Mandolin Natter, not asked for anything yet. Says to go to his horse and we're inside the final half mile. Mandolin now from Inuit Symbol, Max and Sufalini Mullin. This Heraklion's making up some ground. Well, oh, we've lost Inuit Symbol. He's gone unlucky for Ben Benici. But this Heraklion on the outside has come out of nowhere. He was five, six lengths behind. He's going really wide. But Mandolin Natter still holds the lead from Sufalini Mullin is going to move into second now. Here comes Max and they all jump over the 
Penultima and it's Mandarin Natter just holding off. Max on the inside so it's Alex Cherry takes it out. Swing left handed. One to jump and it's Max from Mandarin Natter. Sufalini Mulin Heraklion. So Max as comes down to the last. Gets over it well from Mandarin Natter on his inside. So Max and Mandarin Natter. Mandarin Natter breaking up the line. Mandarin Natter from Max. Max Mandarin Natter. Mandarin Natter. Here comes Sufalini Mulin and it's Sufalini Mulin over the top. Timed it superbly for Paul Rose. Well done. Gets his fifth. And to chase win of the year. Well done. Didn't look like he was going to take that. I thought it was going to be another win for James Shea. But just has a little bit left there, Sufalini Mulin. Well ridden by that jockey. Get him on all your horses. And five finished well. So Sufalini Mulin for Paul Rhodes takes it. From Mandarin Natter to James Shea in second. Max Radix Cherry was third. The Rackling for Stu Gray got up for fourth. And Jazzy Doll Stall for James Shea was fifth. And poor old Ben Benici's in you at Symbol didn't make it. Over to the Triumph Hurdle.